A stunning reversal of Lionel Tate's murder conviction has plenty of people taking a second look at juvenile justice in the state of Florida. Peter Dench reports the ruling probably won't lead to other reversals, but judges may have to be more careful when very young defendants are on trial. I think it's a good thing. Just hope I can use it for my son. Polly Powell hopes her son, Nathaniel Brazil, will benefit from the decision to reverse Lionel Tate's conviction. The appeals court said a competency hearing should have been ordered, that a psychological test was insufficient for Tate. A hearing that would have determined if Tate truly understood what the consequences for his actions could be if convicted of beating six-year-old Tiffany Eunuch to death. An important hearing because Tate's mother turned down the state's offer of three years in juvenile detention, and Tate ended up receiving life. I don't think he had the competency test himself. Brazil's mother hopes her new attorneys can use this issue in a new appeal for her son. That's why it's called appeals. You can go and you can go and you can go. But she could be wrong. The competency issue was never raised for Brazil, then 13, when he shot and killed teacher Barry Gruno. And the two cases are very different. Tate has a history of psychological and emotional problems. Brazil does not. Tate received life for premeditated murder. Brazil received 28 years for a lesser crime, second-degree murder, implying recklessness. And while Brazil may not benefit from the Tate decision, other defendants may. Legal analysts say more judges may order competency hearings on their own before the defense asks for one. I think the whole juvenile system now is going to be looked at in terms of punishing juveniles uh, so severely in the adult system without at least thoroughly uh, evaluating their situation. And one bill proposed by a state senator would severely limit sentences for youngsters under age 15 with no violent record. In Fort Lauderdale, Peter Dash, Channel 10D.